When it comes to concealed carry, do you subscribe to the don't ask, don't tell when it's legally not allowed to carry, but you really don't see any harm in it? After all, you're carrying for your protection. This is the story of four men who brought a case in D.C. because they could not legally carry and ride the D.C. Metro. The story goes on to say that the gentlemen felt like they would be singled out and arrested with a hefty um, sentence if that were the case. However, if you're concealed carrying, you don't want anybody to know it. So the D.C. law, the plaintiffs uh, point out, interferes with their Second Amendment right for self-defense and goes beyond any limits imposed by the Supreme Court or set by the Supreme Court precedents. Um, the judge, Randolph Moss, rejected the argument saying that they couldn't prove, the plaintiffs couldn't prove any harm. And that's because no one had actually been prosecuted for concealing on the Metro. Whether or not anybody knew that or not, but since there wasn't any arrest, there was no harm. Therefore, they could not rule. But this is really a, a juxtaposed situation because the judge is saying, hey, it's okay. Yeah, rightfully so. It is a restriction on your Second Amendment right. But since nobody uh, had, had, you know, been, a, been um, what is the word, Jan? Since no one had been uh, prosecuted for carrying, it's kind of like, okay, we're just going to, like, it's a law, but it's not really a law. So that doesn't really set a good message to everybody else. It's like some laws are meant to be obeyed, but some laws aren't. Kind of put themselves in a tough predicament, don't you think? So I guess you carry and don't tell. Make sure that you conceal, that you're dressed well. Don't touch and fidget and adjust your firearm and draw attention to yourself. If you need more help on how to conceal carry, how, how to dress properly to conceal carry, check out my website, incognitowearix.com. Our clothes are made in America. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.